Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Today I'm going to be working on the Z-axis for the CNC Plasma project. Now if you're just tuning in and you've missed some previous episodes, I've got a playlist. The link is in the description and it's got all of the videos for this project in it. So if you've missed some videos prior to this one, then go back and uh, look and they'll be in that playlist. Now. I'm going to reuse on the z-axis some linear rail that I've got here from an old CNC project from about 10 years ago. And that CNC machine has been long disassembled, but this was in my little scrap bin. So I'm going to reuse this to save some money. And I'm going to mount these rails on this steel plate like so. And then I'm going to take this uh, ball screw and the pillow block bearings and the connector. And I'm gonna place them in the center like so. And then I'm gonna build a plate to put on top. And this is where the torch will be connected to. I'm also considering a torch height controller. So all that will be mounted here on the top. And on the back of this plate, there'll be another plate that this nut will attach to here. And that's why we'll move this whole assembly up and down. And then last, I'll take the motor and I'm going to mount it on the end, which would be the top, but I'm going to mount it on here and then I'm going to build a plate and attach it here to uh, mount the motor to, and then that should be the complete Z-axis assembly. Now, things are subject to change, of course, but that's the plan so far. So let's get started. Okay, so I was messing around off camera and I made this plate here out of some quarter inch flat bar and I've attached the net to it and I also had to round these corners off of the flat bar so that it would fit in between the linear rail here and the reason why it sits so low it's because of the height of this pillow block bearing and I could have put some spacers and raised this pillow block bearing up on each end but then that would interfere with the mounting holes for the motor and they would want to be right here in line with this plate so i couldn't do that so that's why i rounded these corners off so now the only thing left to do is to get it all in position here and keep it all nice and square and weld this on to the bearing plate right here Thank you. 
Okay, so I've got the z-axis complete and I just have one concern is I've, I've got it on the scale and it weighs in a little heavy. It's 8.3 pounds and for the rest of the world that would be 3.7 kilograms and I'm, I think I'm going to be okay because I use this exact same linear rail bearing blocks and a similar stepper motor setup on an old CNC machine that I made years ago and these are the salvaged pieces from it and on that CNC machine it was a router and I used this exact same Porter cable router on that CNC machine and it weighs in at 8.8 .8 pounds which is just about four kilograms and I didn't have any issues uh, with it being too heavy so I think I'm going to be okay it does weigh in on weigh in a little on the heavy side so I may have to go back and make some of these parts out of aluminum and I've also ran into just another slight little problem and that is here on this plate that I'm going to mount the z-axis to I measured the distance between these screw the screws here and I measured the distance between the linear rail. I didn't include this plate here. So now when I try to put it on here, it won't clear in between these two screws. And also, I didn't leave enough room here to, to run a good size screw through to mount it on there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld some tabs on the back of this plate and then that will offset it just a little bit. It'll, it'll pull it away from this plate and it'll also give me something to mount to here. So I'm hoping that'll work. If not, then I'll have to come up with something else. All right, so I've got the Z axis mounted to the Z bearing plate and I've got my tabs welded on here. And yes, I did mess up on the gap here between uh, these two tabs and that tab, they're a little bit different, but that doesn't make uh, any difference in the way that the machine works. So I'll go ahead and point that out for the trolls. But uh, I do have this all mounted on here and it, it's got all of the clearance and it's nice and solid. It doesn't move. So that turned out to be a really good mount. All right. So everything is all mounted. It moves nice and smooth. The X axis moves nice and smooth. The Z axis, it's nice and smooth. Everything's working the way it should. The tabs turned out to be a, a pretty good mount uh, for the, the Z axis. I am going to change this stepper motor out. Uh, I've got some larger ones on order. Uh, I just ran out of them and this is a NEMA 23 and I had it on hand so I'm just using it for fit but it is kind of on the small side and I don't think it will lift all of this once it's all together. And also I want to point out there is no there's no racking at all on this. I was afraid I might have to add a second linear rail above this one, but it's for now it, it, it's, I believe it's going to work. I may have to go back and change that in the long run, but uh, for now it, it's all nice and solid and rigid and straight. So that's all the time I've got for now. If you like the video, please give me that big thumbs up and also subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified of upcoming videos. And if you like this video, I've got all the videos in the series in a playlist and there's a link in the description to that playlist. So check all of those out so you don't miss any of the videos in this series. And thanks for watching. <music>